Okay, in this video, I'm going to go over using lists in Python. So lists is just pretty much a container for different data types stored as like similar to an array. So let's make a list of strings that we'll call string list. And we'll just call Kevin and robot. And then you could have a list of integers. So here we'll have three, two, five, for example. You could also have a mixed list, which combines all the different data types. So here we'll mix up strings and uh, integers. So we could do something like this. And you could have a list of a list. So for example, you could do one, two, three, one, two, three, and then four, five, six, and seven, eight, nine. So this might be good if you're trying to make a 2D array. So you would just make a list of a list. Okay, so you could also extract out different parts of a list as we did for strings. So I'm gonna put a breakpoint here. And run in debug mode. Okay, so for example, we could have mixed lists. Let's say we wanted the first item. You could go from like zero to one. You could also type mixed list of zero. So mixed list of zero, you can see it's also Kevin. So here you could get the first two, the first three, and so on. You could also uh, get every other character. So you could do mixed list of, it's going to be first, last, and then your step size. So first is zero. Uh, last will be the last, so we'll leave it blank, which will default to the last element. And then two just means every other one. So you can see it's Kevin and Robot. And if we just wanted the numbers, you could just start at one and it'll go every other one until the end. So that's how you would get a list of every other element. And you could also do things like append to a list. So currently my mixed list, if I print it out, you can see it's Kevin one robot two. Maybe you want to append something. So maybe I append Python. Then if I print out mixed list again, you can see it's Kevin one robot two Python. And maybe you don't want your list anymore, so you want to clear it. So you could do mixed list dot clear. And if I print out mixed list again, you see that it's empty. So I'm gonna reinitialize my mixed list to my original one so that I don't have an empty list. You can see it's Kevin one robot two again. So now we're going to talk about using some of the functions like copy. So maybe you want to make a copy of a list. One thing that you know some people might do is say templates equals mix list. So this is actually not making a copy. It's actually pointing to a mix list. So if you're familiar with C++, it's kind of acting like a pointer. So if I print out templates right now, it's technically the same, pointing to the same thing that mixed list is. So what that means is if I try to modify templates, let's say zero, and I decide to change my name to John, then if I print out templates, you can see templates is John one robot two, but if I also print out mixed list, you see that mixed list actually got modified. So the correct way of making a copy of a list is to use the copy function. So I'm gonna call, it, well, first I'm gonna reinitialize my temp list or my mix list to the original list I had. And then if I have a temp list two, for example, I'm gonna do mix list.copy. So this will actually make a copy instead of pointing to the list. So now if I do temp list two, and if I change the first one to 
John. If I print out templates two, you could see that my first element got changed from Kevin to John. But if I print out mixed list now, you can see that Kevin did not get changed. So you can see here, mixed list, the Kevin got changed, and then here the mixed list is to original. So if you ever want to make a copy and not modify the original, you want to use the copy function instead of setting it equal like we did up here. Okay, so that's how you do copy. And there's other functions too, so just like we were doing with strings, if you type mix list and you scroll down, you can see the different function calls you have here. You have append, clear, copy, count, extend, index, insert, pop, remove, reverse, sort, and that's it. So if I want to do pop, for example, this will tell you that I removed the last element, so it's kind of acting like a stack. And then you have a mix list dots insert. I could insert, for example, five. Um, well, in this case, let's reinitialize again. So if I reinitialize it, so make sure my mix list is this. And then here for the insert, mix list dot insert, what it actually takes is the element position, and this is actually not zero index. So here, if I want to add it to the fifth element, I put a five instead of a four, and let's just put blah. So if I look at mixed list again, you can see that the fifth element is now blah. Okay, so it's kind of confusing that it's not zero index here, but just keep that in mind. And then let's say I didn't like the garbage value I put for blah, and I want to remove it. And I'll do mix list dot remove blah. And if I print out mix list again, you can see that blah is now gone. So maybe I want to do a sorting. So sorting actually only works for same data type. So I can't do mix list dot sort. You see that it says int and string not supported between instances of the two. So we had here an int list, so we could actually do a int list dot sort. And if I print out an int list again, you can see my int list got sorted. Okay, so that's a summary of using list in Python, and we'll see you next time.